वेलकम टू एन एम ई आई सी टी साक्षत ई कंटेंट प्रोजेक्ट अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एच आर डी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑफ मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट द प्रोजेक्ट इज अंडर एन एम ई आई सी टी दैट इज नेशनल मिशन ऑन एजुकेशन थ्रू इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अंडर दिस मिशन अ प्रोपर बैलेंस बिटवीन कंटेंट जनरेशन research in critical areas relating to imparting of education and connectivity for integrating our knowledge with the advancement in other countries is to be attempted in order to bolster our knowledge resources to obtain and maintaining the competitive edge in the world we require a system of identification and nurturing of talent and lifelong learning knowledge modules based on personalized needs of the learner would need to be delivered to him or her at the right time with the right content interactively to take care of his or her aspirations with these objectives in mind these videos are created for the portal saksham we will learn basic marketing over here Hi, I am LL Means Learner. I am learner of marketing management. I learn marketing in master's class. The desire for learning marketing comes out of interest. This is very interesting topic. Marketing management is seen everywhere in the society. You see up or down, you see here and there, you can see brand names and logos and advertisements and people working in marketing area. I am very much interested in learning marketing. Let us learn marketing from Dr. J. Bedayani. He is going to teach marketing management under Sikshat E Content Development Project under National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology that means in M E I C T. Let us start learning. Good morning to all. Today we are going to learn advertising effectiveness hello and welcome to sakshat e content on marketing management today we are going to understand measuring advertising effectiveness advertising can be defined as any paid form of non personal presentation or promotion of ideas goods or services by an identified sponsor Most of the managers believe that advertising directly affects the sales volume and hence they evaluate the effectiveness of advertising campaign by the increase in sales volume. There are two different kinds of measures of advertising effectiveness. There are direct measures and indirect measures. Let us look to them. one by one direct measures of advertising effectiveness first this measures establish a relationship between advertising and sales a comparison of sales of two periods of time or two markets may be done and comparative changes may be noted the following are some methods that are generally used in the measurements one historical sales methods effectiveness of past advertising may be obtained by measuring the relationship between the advertising expenditure and the total sales of the product a multiple regression analysis of advertising expenditure and sales over several time periods may be calculated over here second experimental control a causal relationship between advertising and sales is established in this method one experimental approach to measure the sales effectiveness of advertising is test marketing before and after with control group design before the advertisement is shown sales figures are measured and the after the exposure to the advertisements sales figures are again measured 
the effect of advertising campaign can then be measured by subtracting the amount of the post campaign figure of sell from the pre campaign sales figure in test cities but over here there are two other cities which are taken well they are said as again measurement no effectiveness and measurement so subtracting measurement exposure measurement post minus pre minus post minus pre before or without advertising exposure next is multi variable experimental designs multi variable designs produce explanations to the success and failure of the campaign and are therefore used by some very large firms because of their diagnostic value for any single medium eight possible geographic areas have been exposed and eight have not been exposed thus in experimental model it is possible to evaluate how each individual medium behaves alone and in all possible combinations with other media if we look to indirect measures of advertising effectiveness factors such as customer awareness or attitude or customers recall of advertising message affect the sales or profits or goals of the business indirectly they are measured in indirect ways here exposure to advertisement the advertiser is concerned about the number of target audiences who see or hear the organization message set in the advertisement without exposure advertising advertisement is bound to fail it is also known as reach and frequency factors how many customers are reached and at what different frequencies they are reached attention or recall of advertising message content under this measure a recall of the message content among a specific group or groups or prospective customers is measured within 24 hours of exposure of the advertisement attention value is the chief quality of the advertising copy the advertisements cannot be said to be effective unless they attract the attention of the target consumers there are two methods for evaluating the attention getting value of the advertisement one is pre test and the other is post test post test sorry brand awareness the marketers who really uh, who rely heavily on advertising often appraise its effectiveness by measuring the customers awareness about the particular product or brand the assumption of this type of measure is that there is a direct relationship between the advertisements and the awareness comprehension consumers here are asked to comprehend the message of advertisements various tests like recall test asking questions etc are used to measure comprehension attitude change the result of attitude changes because of advertisements are measured in terms of attitudes among groups exposed to advertising communication is important over here action the action of purchasing or behavior towards purchasing is measured because the advertisements are shown here thus these measures direct or indirect are used to evaluate the effectiveness of advertisements it seems from the analysis of the methods of measuring effectiveness that directly or indirectly changes in sales or profits are taken as measuring road of the effectiveness of advertising there are several reasons for measuring or not measuring advertising advertisement effectiveness reasons to measure advertising effectiveness include increased efficiency of advertising in general determining if objectives are achieved or not avoid costly mistakes and evaluate alternative strategies too there are even several reasons not to measure effectiveness by various forms number 1 cost of measurement number 2 problems with research 
नंबर थ्री लैक ऑफ टाइम नेक्स्ट डिसग्रीमेंट अबाउट वॉट इज वॉट टू बी टेस्टेड एंड देन ऑब्जेक्शन ऑफ क्रिएटिव पीपल सो दिस वेर द रीजन नॉट टू मेजर द इफेक्ट so today in measuring advertising effectiveness we have seen definition of advertising and then uh, two types of measures direct and indirect in direct we have seen historical sales methods and experimental control methods and in indirect method we have seen uh, several uh, ways like several what to measure kind of thing in exposure to advertisement attention or recall or brand awareness or comprehension or attitude change or action and then we have seen reasons to measure and reasons not to measure the advertising effectiveness thank you very much thank you very much for the class and watching i have learned a lot did you have a good day from the learner